there are some people that love conflict and some people that run as fast as they can. Internal conflict will keep ministries from growing. Internal conflict. Politics. Now, you probably have no politics at your church, but at some churches, there are politics that do exist. Um, I think about every church has politics, whether you're a small church um, or whether you're at a big church. Um, I met with a pastor and his wife at a real small church Friday, and they're doing great things, and their church is growing, but man, they are struggling with some politics of just people some people that are good people, but they've been at the church for a hundred years and really they want the church to grow, but they don't want things to change for it to grow. So how do you, how do you wrestle through that one? Um, yeah, they had a consultant come in and the consultant told them a couple weeks ago that if the 1950s come to visit your church, they're going to feel right at home. So it's time to, um, time to make some changes. And it's like, wow, that... That's strong, but you know what? It made the, I think hopefully the Lord will use it. So, you, hear it so you really do from an outside source. You do, yeah. Internal conflict, politics. I mean, we all know what elephants in the room are, um, and even beyond politics, conflict that's not handled biblically can create um, can create problems that keep you from growth. And I do not like conf. I'm. There are some people that love conflict and some people that run as far fast as they can. And I've always, by nature, I've, and I don't think most pastors enjoy conflict mm -hmm. because pastors have a pastor's heart and they want to shepherd people and love people and they want everybody to get along. And it's just the way pastors are. And I think that's great. And it's, that's what makes pastor, that's one of the things that makes pastors so great. However, flip side of the coin is a lot of times pastors can let issues, um, go unresolved and hope that in time they'll just work themselves out. You and out. You do, and sometimes they don't work themselves out, and those things just brew and they create problems. It's easier, I heard a long time ago, it's easier to, to contain a spark than a fire. And if you can, if you and I can get in the habit of dealing with problems when they're sparks, rather than when they grow weeks and months later into fires, it's so much easier. And a lot of times those sparks can be handled with just a quick phone call if you hear of a problem. And I do feel like I'm better at this at age 43 than I was at age 23 or 33. And that is, if I hear of something, it's a lot easier for me to just jump on the phone and hey, I heard something happen Sunday, can we talk through this? And let's just talk through it. Um, not at all mastered this, but I am learning with these few gray hairs that are popping through. I try to keep my hair short so the gray hairs don't show, but they are popping up. <laughs>